Hello there, welcome to Retro Planner Co. I'm Cheryl. Today I have a special, exciting new release to share with you. I have been working behind the scenes um, for a while now, trying to come up with ways to use up all my commercial use clip art. Since I've started creating my own stickers um, and graphics, I just had all this gorgeous clip art just sitting around and I really wanted to find a way to get it out to you. But of course, I put my own spin on it and added a little something extra as I often do and yes before you even ask this product is included in the whole shop bundle announcing pretty pages what are pretty pages you ask <laughs> thank you for asking so pretty pages are pre-decorated digital planner pages with a twist earlier this year I launched planner pages which are really simply just PDF templates that you can use in your planner. They're individual pages, weekly spreads, daily spreads, um, just all the templates that are in my current planners I am turning into individual PDFs so you can use them in any planner or on their own. I personally like using them on their own. This is a version of that in that um, they are individual pages. They're not all together in um, like a linked format or anything. They're individual pages, pre-decorated. Per my personality, you know, I had to go a little extra. So that is the twist part, which I will get to in just a minute. My goal is to release one new set of pretty pages per month, sometimes more if I'm feeling extra energetic and extra generous, but it will typically be one set a month. And each set is going to include one daily layout, four weekly layouts, one boxed layout, and then one calendar spread. And they are always going to include portrait mode and landscape mode. So you can switch it up and mix and match. Each set will also include a set of exclusive stickers. This sticker book will not be sold anywhere else in the shop. It will only be sold with the pretty page packet, but feel free to use it for any of your planners once you purchase the pretty pages. So this first set is called Retro Summer. It's got kind of a 60s, 70s vibe to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and walk through the stickers first. This particular sticker set comes with 354 stickers. So first we have all the deco stickers. They're, it's just such a fun, fun design. We have roller skate and Coke or Pepsi however you prefer. Um, we have a suitcase and we have lots of different uh, planner girls in this set as well. And we have some gorgeous glitter outlined retro text. And I love the colors of this set. It's a very kind of muted blue, green, green, yellow, and then like an orange. It's, it's just really nice colors. They really go well together. So we have some a beach sign, ice cream, records, vintage purse, lots of surfboards in this set, um, some fries, bracelet, some bathing suits, an ice cream cart, a pair of sandals. And what I've done is all of this clip art, I've also made it semi-transparent, which I'll show you in just a minute. And that's gonna be perfect for kind of layering um, and adding into your spreads without having all that color kind of up in your face if you don't enjoy that. But if you do enjoy that, you do have lots of color too. There are more surfboards, some fans, another bathing suit, some quotes, beach ball, we have a diary, just a whole bunch of really fun clip art for this retro summer set. Then we have all the different planner girls. They're available in three skin tones and they are um, solid and semi-transparent. So here are the girls that are included in the set. And this one on the bike, she's a lot of fun. Now we have all of this semi-transparent clip art right here on the sheet. And then we have some really fun deco dates for this set with surfboards with the numbers on them. And it's important to note, I included all the months of the year. Um, so if you don't feel like using this in the summer or if you live in a different part of the world and your summer is say, I don't know, in November, <laughs> I don't know how that works, 
it's all here for you. So you can use this anytime you want. These are undated, so you can put in your own dates and use it throughout the year. So I went with this really fun, groovy kind of font for this set. So you have all the days of the week and the months of the year. And we have our widget boxes here. And I went with, I decided to use a um, semi-transparent um, clip art on these boxes. I did that for a reason. So when you overlay widgets over top of here, they don't kind of get lost in the pattern. Feel free to take the solid stickers and overlay over here if you want more of a pop of color. You can have it both ways now. You can have the semi-transparent and use it that way, or you can add the full transparency on there. So we have some corner boxes for dates. We have some labels and our sticky notes and the fun colors and our corner patterns. These patterns are gorgeous. And then we have our scrapbook elements of frames and a bunch of different fun patterns that coordinate with the theme. We have lots of washi. I've also gone ahead and made the corner um, papers semi-transparent as well. I'm kind of obsessed lately with the semi-transparent layering. And then we have our shapes. All of our shapes, the solid shapes, come with a cool glitter border. And then they're also available in semi-transparent. So we have our circles, our rounded squares, arches. Then we have like our bookmarks slash banners. And these are just solid. Then we have our three checklist circles which you can crop if you just need one circle or two circles or whatever. You can stack them on top of each other and make longer lists, however you want. They're solid and semi-transparent as well. And we have our pill labels in solid and semi-transparent hexagons with some awesome glitter. And this set um, includes the same shapes as the summer stickers, so I kept the suns in here because I felt they kind of more appropriate. And it's really cool because you could use these where the solid ones here and then the semi-transparent and it looks like there's a shadow of it. It's just so neat. I can't wait to see all the ways you're gonna use these. Stars, hearts. And this set also includes, um, the pretty pages will include background papers, which don't typically come in these sticker sets. And these are great for just stretching out over the entire background of your spread. And there's four different styles, and then they come in solid and, of course, semi-transparent. And lots of widgets. All the colored widgets are in here as well. So we have all the trackers work and the same fun font. The font will change according to the set. Then we have our meetings, and I love these little weekly trackers, how they turned out. I love that font. And our lists, meals bills to pay, our sidebar widgets are here. And then our rating or trackers are down here, our blank ones. And finally, sidebar lists. So those are the stickers that will come with this set. Now let's get into the fun stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start with, these are the PDFs that I've imported into GoodNotes but pretty pages come with three different file types you're going to get pdfs you're going to get jpegs which are just images that you can drag and drop over top of any spread which i'll show you that as well and you're going to get here's the twist good notes files if you have good notes you will be able to further customize any of these templates. This is the super exciting part. So if you hate any of the designs that I have, or if you just wanna mix it up, whatever you wanna do, they are entirely customizable. And one in particular, hint, hint, is super customizable. So I'm gonna show you that one in just a minute. So I'm gonna walk you through the different layouts. You are going to get 14 different layouts. So what I did um, for this set, and I probably will going forward, is I've made different layouts for the landscape and the portrait. So you have 14 different layouts for you to choose from. So let me go ahead and open up the portrait calendar first. Included in the set, you will get a portrait calendar and a landscape calendar. Both are undated because again, they're designed to be used anytime throughout the year. 
So the only work you'll really have to do on these is dating it and then putting in your days of the week. Other than that, they're good to go. And I have a really simple way to date it as well, which I'll go over real fast here. If you don't want to use the deco dates or you just don't have time or you just want more simple lettering, whatever the case, I've included PNG transparent date stickers for both the portrait and the landscape version. And they are available in black and white. Now the catches for these, I could not include them in a good notes file so you won't be able to open them up as a sticker book and kind of copy paste or drag and drop them over because they're so small it was really hard to even see them so my recommendation is to take them from your files and add them into your elements and then you'll have them to use and I'll cover that like in a future video but for now all you would need to do to use them is open up your split screen navigate to the folder that they are in so for me they're in the retro summer and I have them in the stickers folder. And then we have our date overlays. We have landscape and we have portrait. So I'm going to click on portrait. And then for portrait, we have black and white. So I'm going to click on black. And we have Monday start and Sunday start for your week. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Monday and the black because this is a lighter background. So if I'm dating my planner for a Monday start and the month that I'm dating it for has 31 days, then I'm going to go ahead and hold this down and just drag it over from my files and then it's in the planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. And then I'll show you how to kind of quickly resize this. And with practice, this gets a whole lot easier. Um, they are designed to go kind of in the top right corner. You just place them in the corner and then take this little node here, drag it in ever so slightly, and then just kind of reposition and get it to where it lines up and then just tap off of it. And then your planner is dated as quickly as that. I'll show you the landscape as well. So this is the landscape calendar. And then we have the portrait daily. Let me close out some of these tabs. So portrait daily, I went with a kind of semi-transparent solid shape in the back, a sticky note for like a calendar, some just one little cute sticker and then we have the arches with the lines these lines are drawn in so in the good notes file you can change the color of them now that's not the same on all of the spreads but on this particular one i went ahead and did that then we have the landscape daily which this one i went with more of a functional and again on the good notes i'll show you these are separate elements so this is this is this is you can rearrange them take them off do whatever you need to do and we have our four weeklies. So we have our portrait week one. Went with more of a grid design with some labels for the dates. Space up top for your month and maybe a calendar. Here's the portrait week two. I used the hexagons, which I love this design. And then I used a semi-transparent cherry kind of background paper in the back. Again, I'm keeping the design on these minimal because if you want to go ahead and use more stickers, you totally can. Here are the widget boxes, which I really like to use as like individual day boxes. So we have six, and then we have the seventh one down on the bottom for a fun weekend. Then we have another design for a weekly using like the greens and the yellows. Put some picture frames on here. Those are the weekly portrait layouts. Now I'll show you the landscape layouts. I'm going to go ahead and close out some of these tabs as well. For landscape week one, I went with semi-transparent circles that you could use for your days, and I put a little bit of stickers in here and some washi tape. Then we have the more kind of split, split page for your landscape with semi-transparent stickers in the middle. Then I went with some horizontal boxes for this weekly layout. So you can do like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then this can be your weekend. This layout has the vertical widget boxes. And those are the daily and weekly and calendar layouts. 
And so another fun layout that I decided to include in these pages are a boxed background layout. A lot of people in the group have been using this kind of layout. I have another video that I did on how to create your own kind of color changing boxes in GoodNotes. For the PDF versions and the JPEG versions of these planner pages, you get the boxes as they are. So they match the color of the theme and you can overlay anything on them. You could use them for a mood board. Um, you can put your widgets over top. A lot of fun, a lot of different ways to use them. For the good notes, which I'll show you here in a second, you can change the colors of these boxes. So fun. <laughs> I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. So there's the portrait. And then here is the landscape. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the JPEG files that come with the pretty pages. They are designed for you to just take and replace an existing planner page. So if you have a linked page already in your planner, you can just drag and drop these or drop and drag <laughs> these over your existing spread to cover it. They do not have a transparent background, so you won't need to cover anything up first. So I'm going to show you that in an already like done planner, and then I'll show you they're perfectly sized to fit the customizable planner. This is the customizable planner, and you would just drag it over the entire page. So what you would need to do, you can import these directly into GoodNotes as the same way you would a PDF file. That is important to note, but I'm going to go ahead and just split screen and find the file that they are download it in and you'll see they're labeled like this is the portrait and I'm on a landscape so I'm going to go ahead and go to landscape jpegs I'm going to find one to go ahead and just drag and drop over I will use this one and you just drop it over I'm going to close this out and so you can see it has this white background to it it does not have a transparent background so I'm just going to drag this out as best I can quickly and cover the entire page and then you have you just tap off and you have a whole new planner page to work with similarly because this is just an image so this is how you could cover kind of an existing page you might have to crop it a bit but there are there's lots of white space around the edges so that's pretty easy to do so I'm just gonna split screen open my file where the image is at take it and just drag it over I'm going to close that out, the three dots up top. And so now I can cover. Now you notice this planner is sized obviously a little bit differently, but it still covers quite nicely on the page. And if you chose to, if your planner is kind of sized strangely and it's not fitting this landscape, just tap on the image and then tap and then do crop. And you can crop out some of the, see the white space around the sides or whatever. You can kind of crop it a little bit but you can just cover any page in your existing planner and use these that way. Now, finally, my favorite way to use these, which I actually have not imported them yet. To import the GoodNotes files, you can just go to your files where you downloaded them, find, navigate to the file, find the version you want, landscape portrait. They come in zipped format. You do not need to unzip them. You just tap on it and then click the share button up top and open in GoodNotes. And then it'll give you the option if you're already in a document to import it into that document. So if you do wanna use it inside of an existing planner, you can totally do that. You can choose before, after, in the last page of the planner. So you can build it into whatever planner you're already working in, but I'm gonna use it um, just separately on its own. I'm gonna put it in my Retro Summer folder. And here you go. So this is the calendar for the landscape. Pretty customizable. Some of the pages, as I already mentioned, have blocks kind of built in, and I'll show you a couple of those in just a minute, where you can kind of move and rearrange and change them up quite a bit. But this comes in as a GoodNotes document where all of the elements that I have added can be changed. So if you tap on your image tool, you will see, like I can move, I can change this washi strip up top to anything I want, just like I'm decorating my regular planner. I can change this note box widget over here, the sidebar widget. I can change the background. I can change the girl. I can change the purse. 
the calendar though, this is built in to this particular page. So you cannot change the calendar on this one. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a different file and import it. The only thing about these is you don't get to see like what the layout is. So I just recommend just importing all of them into your GoodNotes. So I import it as a new document, put it in my Retro Summer, and now I have this one. This is the good one. This is the one I wanted to show you. These are all individual stickers. Like this right here is from the list widgets. So you can swap this out. You can change this one right here. This is just a date, a time block widget. Um, this is the sidebar sticker that comes in the sticker set. We have cute little records down here. All these labels are interchangeable. So extremely customizable. You can just mix and match these to your heart's content if you use GoodNotes. My favorite, favorite, favorite feature of these planner pages, not only is it a twist having the GoodNotes files for you to use, but these boxes, the box layout for the portrait in the landscape, you can change the colors of these. You can also change, if you wanna change the formatting and the layout, you can totally do that too. I should mention though, before I go any further, if you decide to customize these, I highly recommend keeping like a master file, master folder of them, and then just making copies whenever you wanna customize. That way you don't lose your original design. So now that that's said, all these are, are text boxes. So to change the color, you would just click on your text tool, then you can tap on any box, and then to change the color, you would just go into this little middle box right here, and then background color is right here. You can choose from the grid, you can choose from the color wheel, or if you have a hex code, you can enter it in here. Highly customizable, do whatever you want with these. This is gonna be so much fun and save you so much time from having to do these on your own. I'm not going to change the color right now because this is my master folder, my master file, but that is how you use them. That is the pretty pages in a nutshell. Um, I hope I've kind of walked you through all the different aspects of these pages. There will be way more videos to come in the future um, showing different ideas and ways to use them. But for now, for this first set of pretty pages, I just wanted to get you going with all of the basics. Can't wait to see what you create. I encourage you to join our Facebook group. The link will be down below. And I hope this saves you a bunch of time in your digital planning. Have a great day.